Um, he's got some observations, and I think and you, I know you all are just coming, so I, it's even interesting to me to just see how people are thinking after they've moved around for a while and looked around. I don't know how much longer you plan to be in Ghana, but if you, if you don't mind, just give us a few of your observations, uh, comparisons, even if you if you feel up to it. Right. And by the way, I can't tell your age, can I? Uh, all I? All I want to do to say is, he's older than me, but I look older than him. But when I get his, but look, when I get his age, I plan to still look younger right. than him. So I got some work to do between now and then. All right. Is that vegan diet? <laughs> all right. So uh, my name is Maurice Batts. I currently live in Memphis, Tennessee. Um, lived in several parts of the West Coast USA, uh, Atlanta, Memphis. Um, I came here because, well, even as a child, I always knew, you know, Africa's home and somewhere, someday I have to go there, you know, if nothing else, just to, 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 to complete that circle. Um, and then um, about 15 years ago, I met a brother, uh, and he's not here, he, he lives close by. Um, Sister Erna's neighbor, Jaja, uh, Jaja, and uh, he and I went into business. He was shipping uh, merchandise to Savannah. I picked it up. We sold merchandise, uh, African art, mostly carvings, but uh, batiks, pans, anything. Uh, and so that was another reason for me to come. I always wanted to come um, to see where the, where, the, where the material came from, where the stuff came from. But uh, you know, growing up, I got uh, I had children. Um, and, you know, working hard every day. It took me this long to get here, so I finally made it. So. Um, I've been here two weeks, and it's just the contrast. I was talking to this brother, um, I'm sorry, I didn't get your name. Calvin. Calvin, okay. Uh, and he was telling me about uh, Philly, and he was telling about how things are in Philly, uh, how, um, how, how, when, how when he goes out every day, he carries his, he carries his weapon with wow. him. Uh, because of um, all of the crime, because all of the stuff that's happening, and, and, and he, he was describing Philly, but I felt like he was describing Memphis, Tennessee, and other other places, several other places, other cities that I've been to, and, and yeah, Los Angeles, Atlanta, Georgia, uh, so many places, and uh, every place I've been here. I've never ever felt the least bit threatened. Mm -hmm. And of course, when I, the first thing I did when I get, get here, you know, when I want to go someplace, I say, is it safe? You know, I'm, a, I'm always asking that, you know. Uh, and and I've, I've, I've never felt the least bit threatened. I mean, every, it's, it's, uh, it's just the opposite, mm -hmm. in fact, you know. You feel like, uh, you feel welcome. You feel like you want to be here. Um, um, I found that um, the, ooh, man. The history and the culture. I, I don't know if you guys have been to the uh, coast, the uh, dun yeah, well, the, the Jerry calls the dungeons, yeah. Um, to to make that void, to to make that excursion, and to try to imagine the horror of um, what our ancestors went through um, and survived in order for us to be here today. You know that's that's incredible, and also you have to think about it at the same time. You think about the, um, the 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 evil and the treachery of the people that 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 caused it. I mean, when you go on a trip like that, it just brings it into uh, focus. You know, uh, it, it, it's it's almost unimaginable to think about 400 years of uh, uh, something that evil going on, and, and then for um, the result to be us still here today and surviving it. So. Um, I don't know. I could. Uh, um, I've um, my when I came, I wasn't thinking about. I didn't come here looking to move to to Africa. I wasn't that wasn't part of my agenda. I came because of the reasons that I said. And on top of that, my daughter and son-in-law bought a townhouse in uh, Accra. So uh, I wanted to, you know, take advantage of that too. You know, made an opportunity. So, um, and since I've been here, the the contractor at that place has been trying to sell my place. So, um, 
like I said, I didn't come here for that, but I am open to it. And well, actually, now that I've seen, mm -hmm. I've seen uh, Sister Irma's place, my brother Jaja's place. I don't think I want a townhouse in a crowd. Okay. <laughs> there you go. This, I mean, this is, I mean, this is yeah. beautiful. The ocean is right. Look at that breeze in the yeah, ocean. I get up and sit on the porch and, and yeah. drink my tea in the morning and, and look out on the ocean and feel that breeze. Man, this is just wonderful. So, um, so yeah, I, I don't know what else to say. If anybody have any questions for me, it's... Any questions, family? All right, well, brother, appreciate you. All right, thank you.